Okay, so in this problem, we're told two automobiles are equipped with the same single frequency horn. When one is at rest and the other is moving toward the first at 15 meters per second, the driver at rest hears a beat frequency of 4.5 hertz. What is the frequency that the horns emit? Assume T equals 20 degrees Celsius. So uh, the first thing you always want to do in these problems is draw what's going on. So we have two cars, uh, and they're both going to have a horn on it uh, displaying or emitting the same frequency, right? So the waves they emit, they're the same frequency. We know one car is going to be at rest, and one car is going to be traveling 15 meters per second towards the other car. Uh, the final piece of information that we're given is the beat frequency. And so let me explain what the beat frequency is. So we know it's 4.5 hertz. And so what it is is essentially the difference between the frequency that an object emits. So in this case, we could say the frequency that each of them emit, which would be F, right? It's that frequency, the difference between that frequency and the frequency that the object interprets, right? Or hears or receives from that. So we know that this, this uh, car right here that's going zero meters per second, here's a beat frequency of 4.5 hertz. So that means it's gonna hear, right? So this value is the difference between the frequency it receives from this car or hears minus uh, uh, this, uh, the frequency of it actually, right? So it obviously has some frequency value and then it's different as a result of the Doppler effect. And so we're trying to find the difference between those two values. So hopefully that makes sense. So the change in the frequency or the beat frequency is equal to the frequency interpreted uh, from the moving car. Okay, so this would be your moving car. And so this is the frequency interpreted of it by this uh, car that's not moving, right? And then it would be minus what its actual frequency is. We'll call that value F. So we need to find what both of these are. Obviously, we're going to solve for F. We know what the delta F is or the beat frequency. They give us that value. Meaning, if we can find F prime MC, or the frequency, right, which is the frequency this car is going to interpret it, uh, then we can solve. So the way we do that is by using this formula here. So the frequency interpreted from the moving car is equal to the frequency of the moving car, F. So keep in mind, F, they're the same, they're both F. They both have a frequency of F. So it's F divided by 1 minus the velocity of the moving car divided by the velocity of sound. Right, so we know... Uh, the speed of sound at 20 degrees Celsius is 343 meters per second. So that's just a constant. So what we need to do is plug in these values. But the way it works is uh, we got to put it in here. So I believe I have it written right here. So this is actually incorrect. Let me fix this. So this is the moving car. I accidentally wrote it incorrectly. So notice here we have Delta F equals F prime of the moving car minus F, right? We're finding the difference between them. And we know F prime, or it's really the absolute value. Okay, so to keep in mind, it's the absolute value. Uh, but this value is going to be positive anyway. This is the reason is F prime, right? What it's going to interpret is greater since it's moving towards it, right? Which is why this right here is a negative sign, making this whole value greater, right? Because if you do one minus a value, it's going to be less than one which decreases the denominator, making F prime MC greater. So this value is going to be positive, but it's, it's actually the absolute value uh, when you solve it. So we have delta F equals, uh, and then you have F prime C. So if I just rewrote this, it would be F over 1 minus V of the moving car divided by the velocity of the sound minus F. And then what I did here is I factored out the F from both terms. So I just have F multiplied by 1 over VMC over velocity of sound minus 1. And so keep in mind, what we want is this value F. So that's why we got it by itself here. Because what they want us to find in this entire problem is the frequency that they're emitting. So uh, what we can do now is divide both sides. So you have delta F divided by 1 over 1 minus VMC over V sound minus one and it's really just a matter of plugging it in now so this equals uh, f so your delta f or the beat frequency is 4.5 dividing by one over one minus the velocity of the moving car we said was 15 meters per second so let's go ahead and move down 
the velocity of sound is 343, then we just minus one. So let's uh, go ahead and plug this in. So one minus 15 divided by 343. All right, we'll minus one from that. Oh, sorry, I messed. Oh, yeah, so we have one divided by this. And then, yeah, you're just plugging this in. I just messed up real quick. So 4.5 divided by this. Just go ahead and plug this in. You're going to get 98.4. So this is going to be the hertz. So your frequency that they're actually going to be emitting is uh, 98.4 hertz, right? So uh, this is going to be your answer. Just a quick rundown of how we did it. I knew they gave me the beat frequency. Okay, so with that, I knew I had to find... I knew that it equals the difference between the interpreted frequency versus the actual frequency. I knew I could find the interpreted frequency uh, of our moving car here by using this formula. Right, so if you look in your book, they should give you the formulas depending on whether it's moving or not. So this one is the interpretation from a stationary object of an object moving towards it. If it was moving away, it would be plus here. And then if the object moving you were trying to interpret it from, Right, so let's say we were trying to find uh, the frequency from this one uh, interpreted by this one. It would be just a different formula. Um, but yeah, and then we just plugged it in. We factored out the F to be able to solve. And yeah, so uh, basically the main takeaway from this problem is just knowing what beat frequency is and then recognizing that it's the difference between uh, interpreted versus the actual. And then you can just solve. So uh, yeah, 98.4 hertz. That's going to go ahead and be your answer. And hopefully you found uh, this video useful.